Hello! Today, we're gonna be playing Forsaken Soul Legacy. Or at least taking a peek at it. One, two, and three. Now I know what you're thinking. Ruka, the first Forsaken Soul Legacy game was created in 2014. And now, 10 years later, you're doing a video on those. Why? From time to time, it's sort of like around last year or something, uh, a few of my friends have played Forsaken Sword Legacy. I didn't know much about it, if I'm being real, because like, I've never played like any of these guys before, so it's not going to be my first blind game play. So I don't know what the storyline is, I have no idea what to expect. I know that uh, they're pretty good back in like 2014, 2016, like they stopped updating like years ago, I'm pretty sure like it's been moved on from there. I know these are like really old, so I'm expecting like old UI, old way of like playing, old way of like animation. I'm also hoping they work, again this is like super old is so I don't know what to expect. Also, the way I found this like is through this, so they have like these classic games from 2010. I definitely know um, that's this one. I love this one so much. Shoot the Roof by I think I played. Freeze Tag, definitely. Uh, but yeah, we're not gonna be doing those. We're gonna be doing these guys. So, And first, we're gonna start with number one. Do not waste the only drink that sees you up with the game. Wow. This gives so much nostalgia, holy crap. Are we gonna skip the intro? No, because I've been told there's a cutscene here, so we're just gonna start the game. Ooh. You wake up from a gruesome sleep. See a horrific sight, yes, all. Oh, yes. Blood splatter everywhere on the floor. It was a cage. Okay, wow. Now the survivor pushes you, and the impression of things. Dragus Overlord Dragus was always on top of your hate list. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. Upon grabbing a sword, the rest of the king's heart and our godly made me test. Good time of it, a vengeance draws to fear. Destiny calls, now answer it! Okay. Oh! I get to pick a poke. Okay. So let's see. Vitality. The thief instincts lift. <laughs> Will it even lift? With this book, say let's guess that question. This is one of those like pick this wisely and it's permanent. You cannot pick anything else. <laughs> You're gonna have to choose wisely here. Maybe vitality because I have a history of dying pretty fast. I don't know vitality then. What does a sword look like? Wow. Okay. Okay. And, uh, the king has fallen. Oh my god, this kind of UI is so. It's so 2010. Holy crap. Well, like, round 2013, 2014. Oh, wow. Oh, this is the old 3 quest. Okay. I see the double here because I think, again, like, the UI has changed a lot. So, it's gonna take some time. Oh, this is the shop. May I see a big gun of sword? Okay. Well, I cannot afford any of these. I am broke. Let's see the potion merchant. Can I see the basic potions? Potion of blood clothing. Potion of. And this is the top level. Oh, okay, wow. Oh my god. Okay. No. 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 Frick off. Thank you. Anyways. Is it? Yes. Area bosses. Oh, ooh, you have to be level 50 to fight Dracus. What if I chose like an area? Let's see what it would be. Level 10. Oh, okay. Level 5. So obviously I'm not gonna go through like every area because I would take way too long because I want to check out the other games. I think the thing that I'm not used to is the... There's no like dash option. That's what I'm like 
uh, trying to get used to is that you can only like just walk like this and that's it, which I I don't have a problem with because um, this is a 2014 game, so I'm trying to keep that in mind while I'm trying to do this gameplay. Jesus Christ, help me. Oh my god, oh my god! Ah! Well, that's just great. Just checking out the areas real quick. Oh god. Wild. Oh my god! Well, the thing I'm trying to get used to, I think I said this before already, is there's no dodge option. But I know this is the first Forsaken Sword. I want to see like 2 and 3 what they have. I want to see the other area. Let's see, we check this by passaging the swamp levels, which is level 10. Well, this is a very small area. Okay, 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 okay. Jesus Christ. I want to see what a level 10 boss is like. I'm not gonna check again, I'm not gonna like, see the other bosses. Just like. The King of Grass. What kind of movesets does he have? I know I'm level 2! Okay. Ow! Maybe this guy has phases, but this is gonna take an eternity because I'm like fighting as a level two. A few minutes later. Okay. Um. Yeah, he had a phase two, and uh, wow. I thought I would get away with that easily because it's like repeat, repeat, and then bro was like, "No, you're dead." I want to check a holiday location. Christmas. I want to see the level fifteen, the Christmas place, what it looks like. Oh, okay, okay. I would try to go over there, but I can't. So uh, because I'm low level, that probably would die. It is this winter wonderland great? No. Unfortunate. I'm joking, I actually like winter. This is Fort Dracus. Interesting. Um, and that's John the Blacksmith. I'm too far away to chat. Can I? Okay, how important. That is a little anticlimactic. Any kind of sword is not gonna do, so you have to do this quest. How did I discover this game back in 2014, 2015, or 2016? I would have grinded for hours trying to fight the bosses, get new weapons, do the quests, and all that, because this is something that is like right up my alley. So that's what I think of it. I know this is like the first installment of the Forsaken Sword Legacy series, but we're gonna go check out Forsaken Sword Legacy 2 and see where this goes. Ooh, I like the lobby. Alright, it seems like it's better, in my opinion, from the first one because the first one I'm in a dark castle. And this one feels more open. I'm going to. Start the intro. See the storyline after I left off on Forsaken Soul Legacy 1. A year ago, you marked victory over Dracus. And your village grew ever since. Okay, that explains. But something doesn't seem real. Hell! Just out of the corner of your eye, you see a familiar purple bee holding a shiny sword. Dracus! How did you revive? You rapidly turn your head to meet your eyes, with him, but he vanishes. Dracus has stolen the Forsaken Sword. Oh! Spotting the same short sword on the ground, you saw it with. Journey starts again. 
Destiny's coming again. Now pick it up! Alright. Uh. Okay, well, there's the same perks. Kind of, yeah, it's the same perks. Okay. Oh, this is music! The first Forsaken Soul Legacy did not have music. I presume it's a Roblox moment. What we have here is the Teleportation Wizard. Can I fit through that door? That's a very narrow door. Now the NPCs have their own area. Gem collect. Oh, they have a gem collector. Okay, I don't have any gems. Sorry, bud. And we have the potion merchant. Okay, so the NPCs have their own stations instead of being in that castle because it felt uh, funny. But then again, it kind of like takes off from like the first one where you just build a village and all that. Skill trainer. They've skilled. Okay, so introducing new concepts in the sequel. Love that. What's in this house? This house is empty. I guess I'll clean with as my own and sleep without a match. They have the same weapons, same price. They have a chest here. I think this is the like story of stuff. I actually don't know how to open it. So they have quests. They have like Okay. Okay, sorry for sure. Okay. And we have armor merchant. Well that's interesting. This guy has a Twilight Princess outfit on from Legend of Zelda. Real The Body Protector? Mean armor? Doesn't don't question me, boy! <laughs> oh! What is in this castle? Okay, so that's a playlist. I mean the leaderboard. The king's throne. Where's the king? Oh, right! He, uh... He dead in the first game. So can I claim it now as my own? Am I... Am I now the ruler of Forsaken Sword Legacy 2? <laughs> Here is the garden. Wow. Oh, this is okay. Um, it feels sacred. I, I'm sorry. This is such a big space for a, uh, a picnic. That's literally the first thing that comes to my mind. Or play fetch with your dog, or hold a barbecue. Literally what I could think of. It's so huge. But let's get to the fighting ground actually and see what's up. This has an animation when you pull it up. Level 1 to 4. Oh my god, it's glorious morning from... Not from... The composer's water flame. Let's see. Oh Jesus. Oh, this has a... Oh, you put coins with... Okay. What's this? A secret area? I'm out of here. Bye. You can now spin with the sword. And the way to get coins is to pick up. I don't know how to feel because... What if someone's like also grinding and then they steal your coins? Oh well, it's a old game, so... This has 14 HP here, but this is a level 3 enemy. This is level 2. That's 28 HP. Okay. And this deals 2 damage. This is a level 5 boss. Okay! I like that as a level 5 boss, not level 10. In my opinion, go away. Because level 10... I know, I went into it as a level 2. Which... I don't regret because I was a bit too curious. I'm just gonna. Oh wow, the EXP is uh gonna take a while. A little longer than a few minutes later. 
Oh, this must be part of the qu Get out of here, please. I don't need you here. Okay, thank you. Oh, this is a mini boss. Okay. Let's see. Oh, just this? Oh, this guy's quick! Holy crap. <laughs> oh my god, god forbid, help. I'm gonna. Ah! I'm. I'm fleeing. Uh, bye! Bro is still there after I. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. He actually. Oh my god. Ah, frick me. I have come back for you. And now you must die. Oh god. Well. There we go. Really, the second game introduces the concepts like the skill trainer and the gem collector. They also have like new bosses and all that. And Dragus appears as like the final boss of the game. So that's the second game. Let's just go to the final game. Now let's see the final installment of Forsaken Sword Legacy, which is the third one. Start intro. It's been three months since the permanent death of Dracus. No damage has been done to the village ever since. Suddenly, drink King Drag approaches you. Direct, sorry. Rukha, said the king. I believe our village is not safe yet. The Forsaken Sword has gone missing again. Oh dear. I believe it is the work of a new ruler. Sukard! My lord, you ask the king. Who is the Sukard you speak of? Well, I believe it is Dracus second in command. If I were to guess, he is using the power of the Forsaken Sword to revive Dracus. Stop him before he succeeds in reviving being that horrid beast. With that, you spot a quite familiar looking sword away at your feet. Okay. Oh, another pearl. Okay, there is a fountain. And it stays the same in terms of the building. Okay, let's see the. Now it has a key. I was. Convinced that I would be queen, but no. I want to see the garden. If anything has changed or so like added on, was it the same? It's the same, except now there are protocol effects. Is there a secret area here? I'm just gonna go there quick and see what I can see. Okay, I see some. There is a secret area. Oh, that's it. It's just a hideout. Oh, looks like a portal to somewhere, but we're not gonna go there. I just want to see what's going on here. The teleporting got an update in the third game. Now you walk through these guys because Jack the teleporting wizard cannot do it anymore. He say he lost his power. Which is, uh, tragic. I find it a little more convenient because if you want to teleport, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think you have to, like, run around and all that, which can be slightly time consuming. I know it doesn't make a big deal out of it, but this is, like, a saves time, at, at least so. Now I can do the skills whenever I want at any level because it introduces the skills. Um,. I just know there's a Sonic up there. Got my trusty sword. Okay, I'm like, I'm just like seeing how the skills work. I just realized this till now. They have music presets, so. You can change the music whenever you want. You can change the music related to the first game or the second game. Unfortunately, the first game music uh, is not working because I believe it's a Roblox audio moment. 
Now let's see. If I put on number two, is it gonna play Glorious Morning? Yes! That's the answer. I love that. Anyways, I'm just gonna grind real quick and then... You get the idea. I look at the price of the potion and it's $300. And the stamina potion is 150 It was like that in the first two games where like the potions are more expensive than the weapons. But I had to grind for a few minutes just to get like the strongest sword. And I also got armor as well, something I totally did not do in the first Bruh. game, which was to get armor so I could survive. I'm gonna fight the level 5 boss and see how it is. So I don't know what to expect. Salia. I think I stand it uh... Bye! 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 Holy crap! Holy crap! Holy crap! Holy crap! Why is this- Why are you here? Get out! What the f- Okay. She literally walked out and said, Hey, frick you- And now I have come to kick your butt once again! That was not that climatic. Now you may be wondering, well, how am I gonna get to the next area? Well, you take these teleporters right here, and this will take you to the next area, which is Poisonous Forest. Now, in the Poisonous Forest, you may ask, there's boss travelers. Now, why are they enemies? Is this a quest that instead of finding their way home, they attack strangers, which is a uh, brute? So I attacked the back as well. Oh dear god. I'm gonna check out the play versus play area. See what it's like. Oh. Okay. And this is the oh wow. That's the specific sort of play versus player. And what about the arenas? Okay, so we have a lava one, and then we have this one here. Okay, so this is how the player vs. player reader works. Okay, had I enjoyed these games back in 2014 or 2015, I would have loved it because it's boss fighting games that's up my alley, and it's a storyline. Also, what I love, and this is like a grind mechanic which can keep me occupied for some time. The one thing I wish I had was. A dodge mechanic because I struggled a bit. My brain thinks, "Oh, this has a dodge. This game has a dodge mechanic." And no, well, it has a sprint mechanic, which is to double tap W and it takes up stamina. But I think that's just me. So there's that. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed Forsaken Sword Legacies. Please let me know if you played it back in the day, and I'll see you guys later.